and this is the queue to the motorway junction. So we're crawling. So I need to get that up straight away. Because we can't we can't carry on up there until that's up. Two steps forward, one step back. Or one step forward, two steps back. Yeah. <laughs> Could have built a garage, this how it's took us to build that. Loaded up the credit note for the lintels. Grab that, mate. So we'll go and drop the two lintels off and pick up a 1.8. It's bottom row, isn't it? Really? That's the 1800s. Are you filming? Yeah. Filming. It's just filming that. So we've got, we've got a 1.8? Yep. A 75mm one. Bottom shelf. 70, yeah. <laughs> got our bricks, we swapped our lintels. We picked up cabbage tray stuff last night from home. So, um, and it's 10 to 8. Not bad going. In and out of the shop, no messing. So as soon as Alex jumps in, we're off and get back down to the job. And as you can see there, the trade show is just setting up for next week. Two massive tents. We've missed that the last couple of years, so um, let's try and get up there this year. It's next week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Be nice to pop up there. This is the trouble with coming in the morning and being a long way from home. We're about half a mile from the motorway junction. And this is the queue to the motorway junction. So we're crawling just to get to the motorway, so we're not getting back in half an hour. So, um, give me an update when we get when something happens. So it's seventh of September. Hopefully. <laughs> Time. Uh, 10 to 9. That's disappointing. That's took us 50 minutes to get back. Traffic everywhere as usual, which is out what you expect at 10 between 8 and 9 in the morning, but we had no choice. Can't finish this without the bricks. And we had to swap the lintel, so we're here. Let's boots on, open up, and crack on. Right, half a mix going in. Alex got the lintel up for us. Ready to go up there after I've built this pillar up. So we've got a load of offcuts down there which we can use here. So I need to get that up straight away. Because we can't we can't carry on up there until that's up. So while I'm building that up, I just can knock this out. And um, it's a fixed pain. I think it's just gonna be a lump hammer and a saws all to get the frame out. And then we're taking it out carefully and breaking blocking up two the tiles because I don't think there's any plans to change the kitchen I will check but um, 
we'll see. You've got like the splashback tiles there. So, um, yeah. And then um, we're just doing the outside skin, so they've got like a little alcove because it's inside, it doesn't it? need to be done cavity wall. It's just like a little bit of like, you put little shelves in there. So, Alex is going to get that up while I'm sorting that out, and then it's both jumped on that pipe this afternoon. We've lost an hour and a half today picking stuff up, but these things happen. So, we've just got to get on with it and just get it up as quick as we can so we're not here till we leave. Alex has got a, a Twitch stream tonight, so we can't be finishing late. <coughs> So that's the plan. So I'm going to go out there, measure all these cuts and make sure I've got enough to get up there. Two steps forward, one step back, or one step forward, two steps back. Yeah. So I've, I've nearly got that up. I'm putting blue birds in every two. I'll put one across there, I'll put one of it there. That's our new height because I thought I'd better just check the door height. And for some reason, the door is only 1960. And obviously, we're reusing that door. So it would have meant a massive gap over the top. It's still gonna have a little bit of a gap, but it doesn't work. It doesn't work brick, so I had to push that, but it doesn't work brick. So we've dropped all this step back down. We've got to cut all these blocks now to get them to gauge in for the seating for the lintel. Then we can get the lintel on, then we can carry on. So we're currently going backwards. As I said in another video, assumptions are probably a worst enemy, and I just assumed that was a standard door size. And then I thought I'd check this morning, which is a bit late because we built it yesterday. So another balls up, but um, not 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 catastrophic. It's just set us back again. But this is nearly up. That's 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 a big deal because that means we can get the lintel on after break. So um, Alex is just going to try and patch these up, so they're going off for break time and then straight after lintel on and crack on. So I'll be up there doing that, and Alex will be on this doing this. We just wait to hear. If the tiles are being kept, so we'll we'll see about that.
Right. That noise is the um, farmer bit bailing. Hey. Radio song. All I can hear is the farmer. He's hoovering his field. And making Weetabix, I think. Massive Weetabix. I don't know where he's putting them, because he's been passed about it six times, there's no there's, that one's still sat on the back. Oh, maybe it's stuck. Ooh. But at least he switched it off to have a look underneath. Lad I, I used to talk about when I was young, little John was on a potato harvester and it was jammed, so he used his foot to unjam it. And it has his foot. Luckily, it's just bruised, so he got away with that. So there we go. That is all we've got left. Probably about 15 brick. You notice there's no cuts been done because we don't even what we don't even know what this roof is being made out of or anything. So it'll have to be pieced up after when we know what's going on basically. So we just got up the basic shape for now. So um, we'll probably come in tomorrow for half a day, maybe strip, strip all that down at the front and demolish it and then um, put this poly back. Excuse. Put this poly back, just put a couple of screws in it. What we're getting there, see our vents. This is a tray in there. And yeah, that's it. Alex is just doing that in there. Poor Alex is another good day. That was. That doesn't look much that, but the tiles aren't getting changed inside, so we've got to cut the blocks around the tiles. We can't damage the tiles, so it's made it a simple job, massively complicated job. So it's not been fun today. That's why we haven't been really filming much. A bit of a somber day. So I'll sit back somewhere where you can see what I'm doing and get these last few bricking. Falling off. Well, beautifully too, then. So that's it. That's all we can do until the roof gets done, and then we might be doing a bit of patching up. Don't know. If Jason does the roof. Jason probably do the patching. He's quite handy with his trowel. So that's it. I'm done. Alex is done. Both done. So later than we'd hoped, but like, like I said like before, we lost an hour and a half this morning going to a um, bury and then 50 minutes to get back in all the traffic. So it's getting warm as well. It stayed overcast all day, which is very humid. So we're, we're gonna get um, get all the stuff dropped, get, get all the scaffold cleaned off and tidy up and then we're off. So I'll get back to you in a little bit when we're, um, when we're ready to go. There we go, half five. We're not done, we'll come back tomorrow morning to finish off. Give it a good clean out. But yeah, there you go. <laughs> I 
could have built a garage, this house took us to build that. So awkward. But done. Like all this will be gone tomorrow, it'll be cleared up, all the craft will be taken to the front. You know us, we never leave it like this. This is just because it's half past five. And Alex is doing a stream tonight on his Twitch. And Chris isn't too good tonight, so we want to get back as quick as we can. So this can wait till the morning. So we'll see you in the morning for the tidy up. Friday. Not really much to show today, we're just tidying up. I did the uh, patio quick brick uh, brick acid swill. A couple of stains on it but they're sorted now. Alex knocked a little mix up for me and um, we put these top this top course of stone back on which fell off. And when I've cleaned the wall up the, the whole wall's built out of basically not sand and cement, just sand and water. I'm surprised it's still standing to be honest, because it's a bit of a retainer that. But it's useless. Um, yeah, Alex just cut the panel down for me, so this panel's going back in, and then um, that's it for us. The timber panel he's doing, but um, that's not down to us. Jason, Jason's the joiner man, so we'll leave that to him because he needs battens put up the wall as well. And I'll give the brick the uh, brickwork a good wash, which I think you'll agree looks nice. And the evening mix is getting a wash. It's getting a a stone wash like jeans 80s reference there yeah so that's that's probably having about half an hour spin to get give it a good polish inside and then it's basically tied up and take everything out as we go this all needs fettling after i think jason needs to put a new lid on it and finish the flagging so he's, he's free to do that now we'll be out of the way and then we're going to plop that piece of poly on put a couple of screws in it so it doesn't blow away and then try and take some of that bush that's grown up from the garage off it's been chopped at the bottom so it's died so we need to start making a bit of progress on that before we come back on Monday with the steel so we'll have a good day on that then oh yeah there's a bit of three little bits to patch around there stick them in while I've got that mortar so this panel's going in now and I'll get that patching done so yeah and then um, off to the front
it from here, the number was in the way. Here we go. I've uh, I've tore down all the the greenery. Bloody tiring, but and Dad's getting this roof put back on to protect them sockets. Now we're having a goddamn lunch. Put the poly back because there's some push sockets alive. I've just said that, yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Me out, then. So is that the end of this video then? Yeah. Properly now. Oh yeah. What's that new jetty like? There you go. Dad's done a miraculous job of cleaning all this, and there you have it. There you go. <laughs> um, and obviously, there's Dad's little fix up with that pillar. And there's the block work, and there's my window patching. That's what uh, broke me down. I had a little cry in this uh, bench here. <laughs> yeah, the next door's wall was fixed too. If you didn't see, the uh, brick heads were knocked off, so Dad's put them down. And then the that's put back. Jason's going to sort out that fence panel. We don't have the proper stuff to sort out a fence panel. But that'll be it for this video then. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, be sure to hit subscribe and tap on that bell. That way you'll always be notified. Any additional support, which isn't necessary, but you can always hit super thanks. That's uh, nice for the channel. Yeah, we appreciate all the support regardless. This has been Brick Lane with Steve and Alex. Ready for a nap. And we'll see you in the next one.